Hi, it's Caden and welcome back to the 55 Plus Show, your one-stop shop for everything 55 Plus here in Arizona. Today we are in the Grand, which is a great community here in Surprise. There is no shortage of amenities and things to do here in this community. I'm really excited to show you around, see if this would be a good fit for you. So let's get started. And real quick, before I jump into showing you this entire community, I've got to tell you about my completely free 55 Plus Community Guide. It's got a one-page summary of every single 55 Plus community in the greater Phoenix area. There are over 40 of them it's got a map that plots them all out so you have an idea of where they are in the entire valley and then it's got a spreadsheet at the end to compare all of the different hoa prices home prices things like that really useful resource that i've seen a lot of people get a lot of knowledge from so if you'd like it shoot me an email i can send it over real quick and i'll talk to you soon now the grand was formerly known as sun city grand so if you are doing research on the community make sure to check and look up both names because you might be missing out on some information if you only look up one or the other it was a fairly recent name change they only did it about a year ago when they did that change nothing else changed just the name it was a, just a simple rebrand it's still the same great community community with the same great amenities they just wanted a little name change so when you are looking up information about this community make sure to check both names online we are starting off here in the adobe center which is the largest of all of the clubhouses here in the grand it's got this very nice outdoor space that you could see there with these nice ponds and streams that run through the middle it's shaded by all of these large mature trees they've also got these palm trees and then it's surrounded by all of these different club and interest rooms they've got so many different clubs and various interest groups here at the Grand. It's a very nice area. They've also got all of these different outdoor seating options. They've got a coffee shop here as well. So a lot of people will grab their coffee, go on a walk throughout this area and sit at one of these nice shaded spots. Now the club rooms that surround this area cover just about all of the interests you could have. They've got various art studios ranging from clay and pottery to glass arts, all these different art studios covered, but they've also got a poker club room here they've got an indoor theater and we were just in that area that has all of their multi-purpose rooms so they've got these great big ballrooms that can be rented out for all different types of things they do have a dance club that meets in there as well but this area is just very interest group oriented they've got all the different interest groups that you would be interested in and they have new ones coming and joining the area all the time and this is separate from kind of their fitness area which is just a walk around the corner where they have a great indoor pool they have a great big outdoor resort style pool as well and they have a walking track that goes around that indoor pool as well and I am going to show you footage of all of the things I just mentioned and more we're going to see everything at this clubhouse as well as the two other clubhouses they have here at the Grand one is just across the street it is the Palm Center it's a smaller clubhouse it's got great views of the golf course though it has more uh, card games focused and it has a lot of rooms uh, for kind of building billiards and things like that and then the other clubhouse is in a newer subdivision of the community that is where they have a ton of pickleball courts they have so many pickleball courts there they've also got a driving range in the back fitness center a lot of fitness oriented things at the other clubhouse as well now other than having three great clubhouses two outdoor resort style pools and one indoor pool along with two state-of-the-art fitness centers the grand also has four championship golf courses here four par 72 courses that are very well maintained out of all of the different communities here in surprise the grand probably has the best golf out of all of them it's got four courses to start and those courses are so well maintained in a full 72. A lot of people come to the Grand just for the golf. It is very well known for its golf. The courses are open to the public, but they do have discounted rates and tee times for residents. They've also got different type of clubs that you can join there. You can get memberships. You can buy your tee times in bulks. They have a lot of different options available to you if you are a big golfer here in the Grand. So that is definitely something to check out. If if you are a golfer. These outdoor spaces just outside the Adobe Center are also very nice. They've got a lot of different tennis courts. They've got a couple of different dog parks depending on the size of your dog. And then they've got lawn bowling. They have this outdoor amphitheater that they have different concerts and things like that at. And then these walking trails that lead right along this path of water here that's right next to the golf course leads all the way to the golf club where they have a nice patio that overlooks the water and the golf course over there. They've also
also got a restaurant over there as well. So a very nice area out here as well. As far as homes go here in the Grand, they've got a couple of different condos, but it is majority just single family homes here in the Grand. The median sales price is right around $450,000, and that'll get you about a two bedroom, two bathroom with a den, and it's gonna be about 1,800 square feet. It can be a little updated though. The Grand was built from 1996 to 2006, so it is one of the newer Dell Webb communities here in Phoenix, but not quite the newest. However, if you are a little bit below that median price range, just expect the home to be a little bit more original to those early 2000s, and if you are above that median price range, then the home will be much more updated. A lot of owners have kept their home up to date here in the Grand, so if you're looking for something that is very up to date and very nice, nice on the inside. There are a lot of homes that will fit your needs here. The lowest buy-in home here in the Grand, you're looking at around probably 350 and that'll be about 1100 square feet of a home, two bedroom, two bathroom. And the high end of homes here in the Grand is going to be, you know, up to a four bedroom home, three and a half bathrooms, and it can get as expensive as $1.5 million here in the Grand. Just varies on whether you are going to be on a golf course, if you're going to have a pool, a lot of different things can vary in these price ranges, but that's just to give you an idea of how much homes cost here in the Grand. Now, I just showed you the softball field they have here in the community, and they've got a couple of different leagues that play all throughout different times of the year at different skill levels, so that's something nice that they have here that's in a lot of different Dell Web communities, but I want to tell you a little bit more about the Grand's location here in Surprise. So if you left midday to go to the airport, Sky Harbor, down town you're looking at about a 40 to 45 minute drive all the way down there and that's with no traffic in the middle of the day now the surprise area you are located in is pretty great you've got great access to the 303 you can get on Bell Road and get to the 101 in about 10 minutes but you're right next to surprise stadium where they have spring training games you're also very close to surprise sports complex where they have a lot of pickleball courts that's where they have a lot of different leagues and tournaments going on there but the entire surprise area is very up and coming they've got nice restaurants out throughout the area and then it's very easy to get around to the other different parts of the valley like Phoenix and Scottsdale because you have pretty good freeway access here as well so the surprise area is definitely one that I recommend now you can see we just saw that indoor walking track that goes around one of their indoor pools here at the Adobe Center we are making our way over to the newest clubhouse here in the Grand now where they have 22 pickleball courts. Yes, that's right, 22 of them. They do have lights so you can play well into the night and they have all various different kinds of tournaments, clubs, very easy to get involved in the pickleball scene at the Grand as they have just so many different courts here as well. Here at the newer clubhouse, they've also got a very nice state-of-the-art fitness center and another resort style outdoor pool as we saw in the first one. It almost is exactly the same here at the second one. Now I am sure you are seeing all of these great community amenities and features and wondering how much is the HOA here in the Grand? Well, I will tell you that here now. They have a couple of different annual charges here in the Grand. They have like a rec center fee and then just the standard HOA fee. When you total them up for the annual fee and break them down into months, it works out to about $200 a month. So that's about the average that I see in most of these communities. Now in the Grand, they just have very nice clean streets everything is well maintained so they use the money very well here in the Grand of course they're always updating their clubhouses as well so $200 a month will grant you access to all of these great amenities you will have to pay for golf of course but this is a very standard HOA I would say this is right there in the middle I've seen some that are much more expensive and I've seen some that are cheaper now I do find myself recommending the Grand quite a bit you get a pretty nice home home for your dollar like I said median sales price of 450 you can get a home with a pool for under 500 sometimes you can even get on the golf course for about the same price so you get a very nice home for your dollar they're normally up to date but the community amenities and the community activities are really second to none. You have a lot of active members in the community, which when you go to some older communities where sure you can get more
more bang for your buck home wise the active members are just dwindling and there's not as many of them but here in the grand i see a lot of people using the amenities all the time and it really is a very active community so i find myself recommending it a lot more than some of the other communities here in surprise and that's all i've got for you out here from the grand i really do think this is one of the best communities here in surprise it's got everything no shortage of amenities things to do and some great golf to throw in there as well you've got some great quality homes newer homes and it just has a great feel driving through the streets of the Grand. I am a licensed real estate agent here in the greater Phoenix area. If you are planning a move out here to Arizona, I'd love to help you out with that. I've got that completely free 55 plus community guide, one page summary of all the communities, spreadsheet to compare all the prices, HOA fees, and of course the map that plots them all out. So reach out to me for that and I can send it your way. My name and number on the screen and I will see you in the next video.